receivers that can go up and get the ball. I don't know that it's happened before, but you guys are playing the three guys that were the three finalists in consecutive weeks with uh, Gordon Cooper and now Mariota. As mm -hmm. a defense, do you, how much do you relish that? Because I know as competitors you want to play against the best. Is it something that you know you look at and say, this is pretty cool, what, the opportunity that we have here? I, definitely. I think it's really something special that we get to go against that kind of talent and those kinds of teams. Um, and then for the past two games, we've been able to shut them down. I think that speaks volumes to the entire defense because you can't do that with one guy. You can't do that with nine guys on the defense. You need all 11. Um, and that's what we're going to need for uh, Marcus because he's, he's a dynamic player and he can go, I don't know, he can go score and make plays. So you can't have a slip up by one guy or else he's going he's gonna to get there. What's the reaction been like from home? You hear from Coach Ellery, do you hear from former teammates? Are you just getting a thousand texts today? What has that been like? Uh, it's been really nice because um, every every person that reaches out or texts me or messages me on Facebook is is just really proud and uh, more than just with football, they're proud with how I handle myself and how I haven't gotten in trouble and represent Centerville well. So that means a lot to me that um, I can make my hometown proud because I love my hometown and. Uh, like, like you said, with Coach Allery, he texted me after the game and just was telling me how, how, how proud he was of me and all that stuff, and I look up to the guy. So uh, it means a lot that it's that people think that I've done stuff right since I left. This uh, such a short period of time. I mean, normally bowl games, you get 30 days, and the other national championships, I think one was 53 days. To have such, to come off such a big high and know you have an even bigger challenge, how do you mentally prepare for that? Uh, it's almost like an in-season game, except you got a little bit more time. I mean, it's not, it's not a bowl game. You don't have the bowl gifts or any of that stuff. It's you got to prepare for your next opponent, and we've been preparing for teams all year in a matter of like three days. So um, that's what we got to do with Oregon. We got to prepare for them, uh, just like any other team. Um, if you start thinking, well, it's the national championship, it's different. It's a, it, it's a big deal, but you're playing another football team. So uh, they have their weaknesses, they have their strengths. You find out what those are. Um, you bring out the weaknesses, you shut down the strengths, and then you win the game. It's been beat to death that you guys have been uh, the underdogs in every big game all the way back to Michigan State on through. Uh, at this point, is, is it motivating or do you even pay attention to it? Uh, we've been underdogs for a while now, even since my, I feel like my sophomore year we've been underdogs. Um, and that's okay with me. I don't, I don't mind too much. It doesn't shape the way we play. Uh, we always have a chip on our shoulder. If they said that you know we were 20-point favorites, it really wouldn't make any difference because somehow we would find a way to be like, well, that's bull crap. They're just trying to get us off, off guard and all that stuff. So um, the coaches do a great job motivating us. Uh, we do a great job motivating each other. Um, and we're just going to come out, go out and play football. Did you learn anything different about your team after beating Alabama? Uh, I wouldn't say we, I learned anything different. I think it showed a lot of people that uh, this is a really mentally tough team, a really together team. Um, physically tough because you don't beat Alabama without being mentally and physically tough, especially, I keep bringing it up, we're down 21 to six, and you throw on the film, you would have no clue what the score was on a single play because of the way guys played. Um, and that speaks volumes, and I think that's important against Oregon because of how fast they might score. Uh, I really don't plan on them scoring very much, but you never know what's gonna happen. And if we're down, you, you can't, you can't have a team that's going to quit when you're down just because you know they're frustrated. We're just going to go out and play the next play as hard as we can. I I don't know. I'm happy I get to wear the scarlet because it makes my stomach a little smaller. So uh, other than that, I mean, it's it's always feels great to be the, in the scarlet, but um, it's a jersey. We get the job done either way. You could put us in. You could put us in, uh, I'm not going to say blue or yellow, but you could put us in any other color and it just it wouldn't make any difference. We're going to go out and we're going to play football.